But yo, what is up everybody? My name is Liam and today my team. Just feast your eyes upon this. I know I said a long time ago I'm never doing one of these again. But I've been grinding off camera and just look at what I have. Ruby Campus Legends, Trey Burke, Amethyst, Steve Francis, I'm not sure if I had Steve, Trevor Ariza, I'm pretty sure I did. Anyways, and I got, I already showed y'all Mario Ellie, and plus I got Joe Johnson back in the lineup. I had to keep ISO Joe, and I'm not sure if I bought Doc, showed y'all Doc Rivers, but now I did. And this Steve Francis is OP. Just look at the other game I had with him. Yes. I've only played two games, but look. 25 points per game, two rebounds, three assists, three steals, one block, and 50 points, and I made five threes. Either like a point teaser now. He has Hall of Fame ankle breaker, gold acrobat, and gold posterizer. And I picked up this Ruby Campus Legends Trey Burke. I already told you that. And he's six foot one. That's why I put him at point guard instead of um Steve Francis. I don't know why they said he was four years pro. He probably was. But look at his stats. He has like, I, in case y'all didn't know, I use him in basically every single jump shot creator because his release too looks just so good when you get the right blend on it. He is a horrible dunker, so do not expect any dunks. I mean, he has like one driving dunk tendency. I kept trying to do some dunks with him. It's because he's six foot one and look at the badges. Gold corner specialist. Oh, and I, I'm pretty sure I put, no, I didn't put any badges on him. So gold corner specialist, gold mid range Jedi, gold deep range Jedi, gold limitless range. That will come in handy. I use that a lot with Daniel Gibson and I get greens. It's so funny. Gold difficult shots. Try to give that to Daniel Gibson. I saw, I'm pretty sure I showed that to you in the next episode. And wow. I This is probably the most OP badge in the game. Tireless scorer. I know all of you like. Bro, what are you talking about? It's like freaking Hall of Fame limitless. It probably is, but since I don't have all that stuff, I've never used a player with tireless scorer. I'm not sure, but I really do it like a ton in my career, and it's so useful. And it's so useful because your meter, I'm pretty sure your shot meter won't go down. and Gold Acrobat, just like Steve Francis. Gold Pick and Roll Maestro. Gold Lob City Passer. So he's like, uh, so he's like, uh, let me see, like, uh, Westbrook type player? No, like a Curry type player. He's not the best passer. Yeah, I feel like he's a Curry type player because he has a bunch of shooting badges. So pretty good at layups. Runs a, quite a bit of pick and rolls. A good passer. Good, a good defensive, a good perimeter defender that can strip the ball, and and a pretty good dribbler. And bronze bruiser, I love people with bruiser. I mean, basically, it activates all the time. Let me apply this contract. And as you can see, I have no VC and like, oh, I picked up the Steve, 
I picked up the Trey Burke for 8.9k, so I'm pretty sure that's a good steal, like a really, like a really big steal. And I unlocked Historic Domination, and you all know that's how I got the That's how I got the Steve Francis Lakers. Blah 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 blah. blah, blah. To tell this NBA All Star team. And I was so happy. It was like one of the biggest smiles I've ever had on my face. And I've already. Oh, yeah. I've already done. I've already done the Mavericks, as you can see, with Steve Nash. When he was super young, he wasn't that good, but he was still pretty good. And Dirk Nowitzki, when he was young. He was like, like the like a few like three years before his prime. And what really shakes me about this is it gives you the actual ratings. So unlike the normal thing where it was like said you don't have to go with LeBron because he's a 97 overall, instead he's an 85. But with this. It's their actual overalls in the game because Dirk, if you played with this team, he's a 90 overall. And when you go against them, he's a 90 overall. And, and, um, yeah. Cavs, I'm sorry, Cavs fan, but they don't. I don't want y'all to be like, oh my god, what did you just lose my team? No, I did not. But this is the Hornets with Muggsy Bogues, in case you didn't know, which you should know. Have the shortest player in NBA history, Muggsy Bogues. They have one of the best power, one of the most underrated players in NBA history, Larry Johnson. And we are about to play them with our squad. And it's gonna be really hard when we're going up against the... Oh. oh, I forgot to put contracts. <laughs> I am not very smart. Yep. No, I don't want to. Okay, so we're going up against the Charlotte Hornets. Let's get into it. This is a live stream, so there's no cuts, no cuts, no butts, no coconut. See, and, oh wow, I forgot about Alonzo Morning. Hmm. How could I, honestly, how could I? The teams are like a lot better. You see Muggsy Bogues, like, they literally had to zoom in to make, as Coldy would say, look at them biceps. Oh, crap. No, 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 skip this. No, 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 no. Nope, not happening, not happening, not happening, not happening, not happening, not happening, not happening. I would like to do that, but that's actually impossible. All right. Wow. First play. Bruh. Ugh, okay. It's, I don't want to rage in front of the camera and look like a total idiot. Oh, I didn't know the CPU could do that. Look how short this dude is. Oh my goodness. And not to mention, he's five foot three. Five foot three. He's not even 150 pounds. Oh. Dang, this 
not, my dude's not moving. I want to focus this game on Trey Burke because he's the main player right here. If you say I go, oh wow. Why Chris move, why? For real? Man, I swear, this, why doesn't it set the defense automatically? Oh, that's in, that's in. Stop and pop three to start the game. Have to ball hog. Ball movement is key. Ball movement is key. Uh, he has a diamond card in this game. He does. He has, it's a it's a collection reward, I think. I know it's a game reward. Oh my goodness. Okay. Why am I losing to one of the crappiest super teams of all time? Oh, easy, easy. Don't have to force shots. Don't have to. <laughs> it just looks so funny every time. Oh, is that him? That's him. I'm pretty sure, like, I since like 2K makes like like horrible three-point shooters. I'm not saying they're like the worst of all time, but like below average, like a lot below average for their position at three-point shooting like for example like like someone like Derrick Rose he's a point guard they give him an A minus three even though he's not that good at shooting threes at all I'm pretty sure that's what Steve Francis is like but I haven't looked into his stats so I don't know how he shoots because I know 2k does a lot of things like that I'm pretty sure he's the better because they have like the same three point rating, but like, um, had to foul him. He wasn't going to, he was going to get an easy basket. Now, Robin, Joe Johnson, I saw Joe, I saw Joe. Not play defense worth anything, but can shoot like a god. Oh my goodness, why are passes slow, slow in this game? Like, why? Wow. Ball movement. <sighs> this is one reason why I hate the game. Why does the CPU decide, you know what, I'm going to stay in the paint for three seconds even though that's going to be a violation. I can't control that, which really anger. And the incredible amount of reach-ins fouls if you don't have a 99 steal. Plus Hall of Fame pickpocket.
get out of the paint. Del Curry's dad's, I mean, <laughs> Steph Curry's dad, Del Curry. Woo! I don't know what that was. But, woo, for no reason. Why is there a Canadian flag up there? I'm, I'm probably sounding super stupid right now, but is Steve, is Steve Francis Canadian? Everybody's gonna roast me, I know that for a fact. That's, just, that's all I need to know. Oh my goodness. One reason why I love Mario Ellie now, I didn't get any, like, I wasn't as good as the game. I wasn't as lucky, like, as I was because of it laid back, which made me bad, but that's why I love him. Because he breaks, that's why I love him, apparently. Fell, Riff! Call that fat. Nope. Never mind, it's about don't roast me. Yeah, I knew that. Oh mm, uh. Oh my god, killer cross <laughs> He crossed me up. Little did they know a 5-9 mid, a 5-3 mid. Check out my channel coach. doing shout outs at 300 subscribe. I'm gonna turn that, that trap for, oh gosh. Oh, that's all. <laughs> Bro, that just went straight through me. Oh my God, I went the other way. But 2K decides, you know what? I'm gonna make you go the wrong way. Ugh. Oh, did I mention I get a lot of contact dunks now? <laughs> Two blocks, same possession. Oh my gosh, I hate that and that happens. And I hate that players can wear the same jersey number. Get out of the paint. Whew. 
I thought that was all my fault. Mm, I passed it to Steve Francis. Pisses me off. But I'm way trasher. Like, I mean, I'm way more trash when I'm recording than I am off camera. Literally, I am way more trash. Don't leave Joe Johnson open. I saw Joe. Lucky that wasn't a green. I, I remember back in the day, I used to get all the greens with him. That's literally the only person I got greens with. Oh, wow. Look at that. Hold up. Let me take that off. I tried to take off that little thing down there that was that had the sad face. Apparently you can't. You have to take down the whole thing. Why would he attempt that pass? And Nene sucks at defense. You've learned. I love speed boosting. Oh, easy. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. I hate that, like, when you get stuck in a defensive animation, it's like you can't press a button and get back to it. It like makes you get stuck there so you can't contest the shot. It's like kills me. Like makes me really mad. Mm. All right. You're not step. Not step. Wow. Joe Johnson's showing up in his second game back. Wow. Why is that you? Oh. I was trying to get a little closer so I could get a piece. But you can light it up from deep and get greens with Daniel Gibson. He's like one of the best budget shooters. He isn't one of the best. He is the best budget shooter in the game. If we're talking like rubies. And like, and like, I can't afford that. Like, I can't afford like freaking cheap amethyst. This thing costs like 16,000, like 20,000. I barely even have 10,000. I don't even have 10,000 half of the time. I, heck, most of the time, I barely even have 5,000. But back in the day, why do I have to say back in the day? Like, like a few months ago when I, like, when I went to, when, before 2K18 was out, like, like, in the middle of, oh, God. Oh.
I was thinking of doing a lot, but it was too late. Thought he was gonna get blocked. Oh come on! He has gold pickpocket. B plus, like a ninety, like a eighty steal. But no, that's not good enough. Can you at least attempt to block the shot? If you would have attempted to block the shot, it would you would have blocked the shot. You like what you, you like what you jelly. Mwah. 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 Oh, that's all. I like to do that too much, but then I realize the defender isn't it is a little in my face and then I know it's not going in because 2K just a lot. Like, in real life, James Harden can do like a step back contested three swish. But in, then in 2K, you can't even get, barely get a wide open three to go. I saw Trevor Ariza open. Holy crap, look at his eyes. <gasps> look at his eyes. Oh, really? Holy crap. <gasps> look at those eyes. <gasps> They're literally out of him. Three fouls at halftime, or before halftime. Hmm. Hmm. I was trying to do a jelly. I kept trying to do a jelly. I kept spamming square. Ball move. I was gonna say ball movement is key. Like Chris move. I mean, Jack Steptic. I said speed is key, but ball movement is not key. Normally is, but this time no. See jelly, jelly. You're welcome. That's your that's your gel. Your second. Your first. Dunk leading to a jelly of the day. I will set a challenge. Jelly challenge. Like, bro, like, can you at least do something a little more special? I honestly think this card should have gold one man fast break. I don't understand why it doesn't. It, it's like, why doesn't it? Like, why? Like, this is the perfect player to have one man fast break. You can, he has A plus steal, which means you can strip the ball and go on an easy fast break. And you're the only man running the fast break. And he has pretty high speed. Let's look at this. 
what, what are you, what are you? Yeah, that's pretty fast. Oh, uh, that jump shot, though. But I don't want know why. Easy, bow movement is key, that's it. And one of the reasons why I may be trash is because I don't have my glasses. And I'm pretty bad at, I mean, I can see clearly, but the reason I got my glasses is because I kept scooting in front of the TV because I wanted to be closer and while I was watching Spongebob, like, Three years ago, I was I was watching SpongeBob and I wanted to get closer to the screen, and that's why I got freaking glasses. And I'm perfectly get off of me. Oh come on, space the floor, bro. They needed to space the floor. I would have gotten a wide open good shot with Joe Johnson off of an inbound. than you so um you should just look how short this dude is <laughs> it just makes me laugh i mean my Two of my sister's friends are literally only one inch shorter than this man. Both of them are girls too. They're both five foot two. And they're both like 11, 10. Lockdown, lockdown. Lockdown on the midget, but not lockdown on the Curry's dad. I don't want to be a sound cocky, but I always dominate games like this. Like, dominate. Dominate. Daniel Gateson, 93 contested, 3, 95 open shot, 3. But y'all, y'all like, y'all like my, um, my court? People will, like, put Supreme and, like, freaking all that crap. Like, Supreme, Nike, Adidas, Jordans, like, they would put freaking... What would they put? Hold up, let me see. I have like this app on my phone. I forgot what it was called.
they would put a bunch of hype beast stuff up there. Like, like crap like that. And make the court look like messy. But my court is like organized. It's like, it won't like look like, it looks like, like more like an NBA court. Oh my God. How did, bro, he is a 5'3 me dot. You're literally a, like a foot and two inches tall than him. You're 14 inches taller than him, yet he's clamping you. Why did I not take that? Just went for the good old rebound, and he went for the hoop back. Uh oh, okay. Oh my gosh, why are you calling a timeout? Like, you're literally just wanting to like, hey, you know what? I'm gonna give y'all some time to rest even though you're rested as hell. Like, yes. Or just to get the subs substitute sentence. Oh, come on! For real. Full, that is the definition of, like literally, that is a full what, hold up. Trivia cracks like him, me up. Like, all right. I love speed boosting because you can do literally all this. Literally jelly off of a, basically a normal jelly without trying to do a jelly. Literally. I literally, I, I literally did like a normal acrobatic layup. But instead, I jellied off of that but one reason I just love speed boosting it's like in my blood even though no, no nobody in my family barely knows anything about basketball it was in my blood to like speed booster yo if they have him at anything else besides point guard, I'm dead. That's like putting freaking, I don't know, freaking justice at small forward. Yo, that was backcourt. See, look at that. Yo, that was backcourt. That was technically backcourt, bro. I can't tell. That was backcourt. Give me that. I haven't done any anything all game with this Trey Burke. Shine. Shine. I think I'm gonna give that dude a nickname. Trey for betray. Cause he's a good three point shooter and his name is Trey. And people call clutch three point shots trays, right? So, tray. I don't know, just get used to it. God. Just get used to it, okay? Yo, why does Chappelle McGee have an A minus instead of an A plus like he always does? What's up with that? 
I had this bid on this Rudy Gobert. It was like 8.9K, just like this Trey Burke. But I wanted to get it because I mean, I needed a good shot blocker and they, I mean, just that's a, a good shot blocker even though. I just needed a tall, long-armed player who can block shots, okay? I didn't even need all that stuff. I just looked up like freaking cheap rubies, okay? See that? I went for a floater. That's why it was a bank shot. Because I pressed the right trigger up. Ugh. I was trying to see if he could throw an alley up to sell. You probably can't. Oh. Is it just me, or is it always the big men who can't shoot threes always are open on the three point line? Like, but the guards are never wide open. You have to take and test the shot. Yeah. Wow! His first game, he's player of the game. What a coincidence! No, it's because I'm a savage. I'm just playing. It's a good card. Don't wrong. Skip all this, because who cares? like three degrees but sure that's fine okay so Trey Burke had a good good debut game not the best not the worst definitely not the worst and not the best really good though really good I can't tell why this dude is a campus legend but he just is okay He's a playmaker, good to know. He's an all round playmaker. Except, except, can't. I would say he's a 3 and D a little. If you get with me, because 3 and D players are like players who can pick people's pockets and get steals. He's one of these people, and he can shoot threes, so I consider him a 3 and D. I have a lot of 3 and D players like Norman Powell, Steve Francis, Matthew Della I need uh, to, I just need some normal players. I need to get rid of, like, like Matthew Della Dadova. He's not doing so solid in the last game. So, I next time I see you, I'm gonna have about like I don't know, like 3,000 BC. Oh, the Nuggets! That's like the, every team, like the first time 2K player that got this game went was drafted to. Cause like if this is the only 2K game that you own and the first 2K game that you, 2K game that you own, the first time you got drafted, it was probably by the Nuggets. You know it. You know it. Ooh, should I put Quentin Richardson back in the lineup? I think I should. Bob Lanier hasn't been doing so good. So I'm sorry. But Gwyneth Richardson's coming to, back to the squad. And Robert Ory, a stretch big player. 
Hmm. I don't know if I really want to get rid of him. Hmm. But I might want to replace him with Alfred Payton. But he's out of contract. And I don't want to waste the contracts. So, Doc Rivers is sticking to the team in one second. This is all I have for this video, and if you liked the video, subscribe, like, like, hit that like button, and if you're new and you really liked that video and all my other videos, hit that subscribe button. I'm Liam. This is my team, and peace out.